We've talked about the number of jobs available. Can you jump into the dollar value that these jobs bring in so that everybody gets excited about what the potential here is as well? Yeah, yeah. So like right now, if I were to go on the site right now, there are about there are almost 2,500 open projects right now waiting for someone to bid on them. So these are open where the employer has not yet picked somebody. And out of that, I have some numbers. Like, for example, quarter three, so for the last three months, uh, workers made almost $3 million off of the site. And we've got uh, about 300,000 freelancers and about 147,000 buyers. It's like kind of an idea of the size of markets. We do thousands of these every single month. So there's a lot of activity going on. That's incredible. That's so huge. I mean, you gotta, you've got to feel proud just in knowing that you've got $3 million in money being given out every time. That's pretty it incredible. It does. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. And it makes you feel great because it's like, this is this is business that people would not be getting otherwise, and a lot of people they'll write and they'll say, "Oh, well, seriously, there, there's people that you know before this, you know, maybe they were unemployed or they had problems finding a job, or some people just can't take a traditional job, like they're handicapped in some way, and they just send the nicest emails and the nicest letters. So it's it's very gratifying. That's incredible. That's so cool. I'm one of the people who can't take a traditional job, but not because of a <laughs> disability. I just can't handle working for somebody else. <laughs> yes, by choice. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> well, um, this is exciting, and we're going to get into some of the details about how people can um, best utilize the site and sort of the best practices to get these jobs. But uh, I want to kind of step back for a second and so that everybody on the call can connect with you. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself why you created uh, V-Worker, and if you've traveled, maybe some of your personal travel experiences and some of your favorite places you visited? Oh, sure. All right, so to answer the first question, it's like, uh, basically, I had a site called Planet Source Code, and Planet Source Code is a site for computer developers. Source Code is like the, the building blocks for programs. And I started that site, and uh, I was the webmaster, and what I found, a weird thing was happening. I was... People were saying, hey, Ian, can you please create this program for me? Can you do a little bit of work and do this? Can you do that? And there were so many of them asking me for work that I actually had to turn them away. And, you know, at the time, I was just a, I was, I was an independent contractor. That's basically where I was. And, and I was like, something's wrong here. It's like, I, I, this is my job. And I'm having to tell these people, no, I'm sorry. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. So that's what gave me the idea that there was some sort of unmet need here. It's like there are lots of people out there that have these things that they need to get done, but they don't really have a, a way to get them done. So the idea was, I'm just gonna create a site that does this. And I actually created it while traveling. You talked about traveling, but I love traveling. I created the site really on my laptop while coming home from a trip to Italy. So uh, that was the, the first version of the site. That was in 2001. That was like the, the prototype beta version. And you know, it's just grown and grown ever since. 